Gotham isn't a city anymore. <laughs> it's a battleground. <laughs> and whoever controls the most turf is going to rule this whole town. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> Hi, my name is Lucas, I'm one of the Crunching Koalas and I'm very excited to finally show you some gameplay footage of our game. Mousecraft is a tile matching puzzle game where you help mice in their relentless quest for cheese by using the world's most famous bricks, Tetrominos. Some call Mousecraft a cross between Lemmings and Tetris. Your ultimate goal is to assist the crazy cat scientist in activating his mysterious mice-powered machine. Nobody knows what his invention does but it definitely needs mice to work. Ok, but let's start from the beginning. Your aim in each level is to create a path for the mice so they can safely reach a piece of beloved cheese. To help them reach the cheese you will need to use Tetromino bricks and that's when the fun begins. Pile up blocks to let the mice reach higher grounds or place them to reduce the mice's fall. Sometimes you will have to rotate the blocks before putting them down to prevent the mice from getting into danger. Also destroy them to gather collectibles and use their special properties to advance through the game. New kinds of bricks will be added throughout the whole game. There are 5 of them for now, but you can definitely expect more of these in the final version of Mousecraft. Prove your stacking skills in a mind-challenging puzzle mode or the fast-paced arcade mode. In puzzle mode, there's no time limit. You can take as much time as you like. There's even an infinite undo button, which allows you to repeat every action you perform. Our goal is to make this way of playing Mousecraft as relaxing as it can be. Unlike puzzle mode, arcade mode challenges the player's agility and focuses on testing their ability to make quick and risky decisions. The main difference is that in this game mode you don't know which bricks are coming next and you have to decide as quickly as possible how to use them. The last feature I would like to talk about is the level editor. It is fully integrated into the game so you can use it to make your own maps and share them with the rest of the community. There is a separate video about it, so it would be the best to see it if you are interested in hearing more about this feature. Please bear in mind that Mousecraft is still a work in progress. We are planning to release the final version in the fourth quarter of 2013 for PC, Mac and Linux. Until then you can download the alpha version of the game for free. Simply sign up for our beta program. It enables everyone to play, test and send feedback on early versions of our games. Everyone who actively participates in our program will be listed in the final game credits and will hopefully have an impact on the look and feel of the final game. If you enjoyed the alpha and you would like to play the full version of Mousecraft, you can support its creation and back our studio by giving us as much as you feel the game is worth. To get the full version of Mousecraft right now, just go to mouse-craft.com, decide how much you are willing to give us, input your email address and follow further instructions. 
And if you are really into the game, you can also tell us what features we should include in the final version, by choosing how you would like to divide your contribution. As soon as the development is complete, you will receive a DRM-free cross-platform digital copy of the game, with all the extra content included by default. There is no need to beat the average price. You decide how much the game is worth to you. And please remember that we are indie, so all your contributions will go straight to us, the makers of the game. No publishers or third parties are involved. Keep in mind that by supporting Mousecraft, you also support the development of our second game, World Trap Dungeon. It combines a classic RPG dungeon crawler and Scrabble. It is still in development, but just like Mousecraft, it has been released in a free prototype version. It has been warmly welcomed by some of the major gaming sites and we are looking forward to releasing its alpha version in the near future. If you decide to support us and get the game now, you might also want to check our Greenlight page. If Mousecraft makes its way to Steam, everyone who already acquired a full version of the game from our website will receive a free key to redeem the game. To get all the upcoming info regarding Mousecraft and World Trap Dungeon, follow us on Facebook or Twitter. That's where we post most of our updates and news. For now that's all. Thanks for your time and patience.
Multiplayer is an integral part of the Killzone experience. I think it's been quite a tough goal in some ways to change it enough to make it fresh, but not enough to make it feel like a different game. It's a really engaged community built up around the Killzone franchise, and especially the multiplayer. And Killzone has always been a benchmark title for PlayStation. We set our goals very, very high on the Vita. One of the most important things for me, and I think is quite new within any first person game, is the ability to take your character between single player and multiplayer environments. Things that you have earned and unlocked in a single player game will carry over into multiplayer as soon as you go in there and you can use those things so you're not at that disadvantage of fighting against somebody who's got all the kit unlocked. And also it's very important when people are in an offline state that they can play the single player and then continue to develop. Even if they don't currently have a Wi-Fi connection available, they can pick up and play single player and everything they do is still contributing for their loadouts and they're still contributing to their overall Valor score and statistics. We support character rank as you'd expect, but that can stagnate. People stop playing the game, but their rank doesn't deteriorate. So we created a, a system called the Valor Card. When you first uh, load up the game, you'll be issued your first Valor Card. And from then on, every day, you will receive an update how quickly and how efficiently you're earning money in the game, be that single player, multiplayer, or both. In multiplayer, we actually compete for Valor Cards. So when you kill someone, they will drop their Valor Card. If you kill the higher ranked players, you'll actually earn more money than killing like lowly twos. You actually build up a Valor Card deck um, we award quite a large amount of money. And by creating specific hands like a royal flush or a full house or a full deck, you can actually earn big cash rewards. A big portion of the game uh, revolves around you earning uh, money, Becton dollars, to actually buy the equipment that you then use in the missions. In single player, we allow you a single loadout slot. In multiplayer, we uh, allow a number of them which unlock over time. New weapons, new armor, new grenades, new vanguards. We have a mechanism called the Vanguard Capsule which gets fired into the environment and if you can reach it and open it uh, you get a one-shot vanguard weapon. It's a weapon you can't use all the time but will be a game changer when it, when it happens. Everything in the game has a counter if somebody else is equipped with it where someone will be absolutely beasting at the start then the other team will change their loadout up and all of a sudden they've got the counters there to deal with it. I, I hope that it's a multiplayer experience for everyone. You start to forget the things you should remember. It's been 10 years.